inner ear. Under this, we'll discuss about cochlea, the organ of corti, and cochlear microphonics. In this slide, we are going to discuss about the relationship between outer, middle and inner space with the cochlea which is called scala media, scala vestibuli, scala tympani. Coming to this diagram, the last class we know there are three ossicles inside the middle ear and the smallest one the steps the foot plate of steps ends on oval window now cochlea is a spiral shaped organ in human the spiral consists of two and three fourth turns with the broad base and the narrow apex with a broad base and a narrow apex the bony labyrinth component of cochlea is subdivided into several chambers the vestibule is the space facing the oval window from the oval window the space what is starting is called scala vestibule starts from here and then ends to the point called helicotrema from this point another turn it starts is called scala tympani starts from helicotrema and ends at the point where the round window is present. Now what about the middle one? This is a point of interest. This middle one is scala media. This is not connected with any turns, means not with the scala vestibuli and not with the scala tympani. It is a closed chamber. This closed chamber has two layers. What is that? Below, it is bounded by the basilar membrane. This is the the xylem membrane. And top it is closed by another membrane. It's called Rizno membrane. This is the Rizno membrane. The hair cells inside the cochlea it is present over this basilar membrane. In the next slide, we are going to take a close view. Now we have to go through the organ of corti. Before that, we have to take a close look of cross section of cochlea. Now this diagram is showing three chambers. One is color vestibuli. Next is color tympani. As we have discussed in the last slide, this color tympani and the color vestibuli is connected with each other at the point of helicotrema. But the chamber which is present in between two is color media, which is not continuous with anything. It is a closed chamber. Now, 
in this kala media there is a special organ is present which is a neural apparatus responsible for transduction of sound called organ of corti this is the organ of corti and this organ of corti is situated on the basilar membrane last slide we discussed that this kala media is covered by two membrane one is the basilar membrane another one top is the rhizna membrane now this scala vestibuli scala tympani which is continuous with each other is filled up with perilim which is closely resembles cerebrospinal fluid but the fluid in the membranous labyrinth including the scala media is endolymph which is very different from perilymph the endolymph contains high concentration of potassium is about 145 milli equivalent per liter with a low sodium which is about 2 milli equivalent per liter in this respect it resembles intracellular fluid now in the next slide we are going to discuss about the details of organ of corti in this slide we are going to discuss about the organ of corti with inner and outer hair cells we can see here there is a diagram of organ of corti this organ of corti which is situated on the basilar membrane this gray one is a basilar membrane and there are two types of cells there are three rows of outer hair cell and there are one row of inner hair cells in between these two type of hair cell there is tunnel of corti this tunnel of corti is made up of two pillar cells both side the hair cells are situated on epithelium and this epithelium is mainly made up of supporting cells and you can see there are the nerves which are just ending at the base of hair cells this nerves are the efferent nerve which is arises from spiral ganglion crosses the organ of corti and ends into at the base of each hair cells these are efferent nerve which is carrying the sensation from hair cell to brain whereas another kind of nerve is also there which is called efferent nerve which is coming from superior olivary nucleus to the outer hair cell mainly efferent nerve ends at the outer hair cell and another structure which is just above this is tectorial membrane this tectorial membrane is a gel like structure with this gel like structure the stereocilias are embedded into this so this is complete organ of corti which is responsible for receiving signals from atmosphere and transduct into chemical signal which goes through the afferent nerve to brain now hair cells this is a diagram of hair cell there is a difference between the vestibular hair cell and the auditory hair cell 
this is a diagram of vestibular hair cell now in case of mature mammals there is a subtle difference between the vestibular hair cells and the auditory hair cells this is a micro photograph electron microscopy of a vestibular hair cell there are the cilia with a long kinocilium which has a bulb end this is a schematic diagram of same hair cell this hair cell is uninucleated and supported by both side supporting cells at the apical part of this hair cell there are two types of cilia one is kinocilia which is a longest one which is a typical cilia containing 11 microtubules which has a bulb end other cilia are called stereo cilia which are different from kinocilia in case of mammal only stereo cilia is present in case of auditory hair cell this you can see the length of the stereo cilia is increasing when it is moving towards kinocilium and each stereo cilia is connected with the special type of molecular motor which is called tip link tip link helps the movement of the stereo cilia and opening of mecano sensitive cation channels at the basal end of cells hair cell we can see there are nerves and there are two types of nerve one is afferent nerve another one is efferent nerve afferent nerve takes the sensation from brain hair cell to brain whereas the efferent nerve takes the sensation from the brain to cell now the role of tip links in this schematic diagram we are seeing the stereo cilia stereo cilia both the stereo cilia are connected with a tip links this tip links is a molecular motor which contain actin and myosin this tip links are connecting two mecano sensitive channels here and here coming to the next one when the shorter stereo cilia is moving towards the longer one this is a shorter one and this is the longer one there is a stretch on this tip link because of the stretch of the tip link there is a opening of mecano sensitive cation channels check the position of the channels for the longer one it is situated on the side of the stereo cilia whereas the shorter one it is on the top so when it is moving towards the stereo cilia shorter one is moving towards the longer one there is a opening of cation channels and the cations are entering to the stereo cilia ultimately to the hair cells now when the vibration stops or the tectorial membrane moves to its normal position the stereo cilia comes to its normal position again becomes straight after becoming straight this cation channels are closed